All righty, folks, welcome back to another uh, video here on that Beer Guitar Guys YouTube channel. And uh, thank you for stopping by once again. You might notice that I'm looking slightly differently dressed from what I just looked uh, a couple of moments ago playing it. That's because the weather has changed drastically. Stay by the coast and the weather here is just uh, very unpredictable. Anyway, here is uh, a quick little run through of uh, Here Comes the Sun, how to play that. Uh, tabs, first of all, you can find them on my Patreon page. There'll be a link in the description. Pick them up for dirt cheap. It's going to cost you a dollar. You grab these tabs. They're available in Guitar Pro format or PDF, whatever floats your boat. So, I've got my four-string cigar box guitar here tuned to open G, G, D, G, and then a B string there at the, at the bottom. So, we got our little intro, and that's going to sound a little something like this. All right, so we're starting out with two open strings. We've got the open G, the low G. We got the D, and then we're going up to a B note here, which is the twelfth fret on the on the B string. Following that, gonna take it down to the eighth fret on the B string, then back to the tenth fret, and here we're gonna be playing the open G string at the top with the tenth fret, followed by the twelfth fret again. So so far that sounds like this. Gonna wrap that bar up with just some rhythmical notes to fill the space. That's gonna be the D and the G strings. Then I'm pretty much starting the same way again. Open G, open D, 12th fret on the B string, down to the 10th fret. Then I've got the low G going down to the 8th fret, followed by an open D and then the ninth fret on the uh, higher G string. So that bar. Now notice I'm doing this slightly awkward move to the ninth fret with my pointer finger. Middle finger could have been easier, but I'm doing that with, uh, with a purpose or a reason behind that. And that is to get into this C chord up here which is going to be the 10th fret on the D string, 12th fret on the, on the G string, and then I'm going to be altering some notes on the, on the high B string. So this bar is going to start like this. We've got 10 on the, on the D, 12 on the G, back to 10 on the D. Now I'm using my ring finger to get to the 10th fret on the B string, back to the 10 on the D, 12 on the G, back to 10 on the D and then nine on the nine on the G again. So that bar is going to sound a little something like this. Let me do those first three bars. Then we're going into a D chord. I'm barring, taking my pointer finger flat across all four strings inside the seventh fret. Here I'm going to play the low G and the B string together. Then take my ring finger down to the ninth fret on the G string. Hitting the high B string again, which is still barred in the seventh fret. Eighth fret B. Go back to the low G at the top. Taking my pinky up to the tenth fret on the B string. And wrapping that bar up with a D, 7D, 7G. Sounds like that. So first four bars. Let me kind of repeating bar one and bar two. All right, so all of that's the same. This bar changes to so the one where we're playing that C chord. It's going to go like this. 10th fret D, 12th fret B, back to the 10th fret B, oh, sorry, D string, 10th fret D. So 10 D, 12 B, 10 D, 10 B, back to 10 D. 
then 12 G back to 10 D and then I'm going to catch the seventh fret on the B string. Notice I'm catching it with the bottom of my finger because I'm getting ready to bar here. So that bar sounds like this. And now I'm getting my finger into a bar position. And there I'm just playing G, D, G, D twice. All right, that is our little intro before the singing starts. All right, now once the singing starts, that's obviously the guitar mimics what the, what the vocals are doing in any way, although this entire piece is arranged to play the vocals as well, the vocal melody. All right, so this is the next part. Sorry. All right, let's have a look at that. So I'm starting here with uh, open G and D strings, 12th fret B. I'm doing a pull off down to the eighth fret. Little 10th fret B string with the open G. Going back up to the 12th fret and wrapping that bar up with the open D, open G. Now I'm going into that C chord again. Actually, I missed something here, guys. I do, I do, I do apologize. I missed the here comes the sun part. Please do, do forgive my stupidity here. All right, let's run through that bar. That one, of course, is D, sorry, G, open G, open D, 12th fret on the B string, 10th fret on the B. Back to the low G, back to the 12th fret on the B. Then I've got the D string open and finishing that bar up with the 8th fret on the B string. Sounds like this. Boom, here comes the sun. Then the bar I just did a moment ago. Open G, open D, 12th fret, pulling off to the 8th fret. 10th fret with the low G string back up to 12 and wrapping that bar up with open D and open G. It sounds like this. Now we're getting into that C chord, 10th fret D string, 9th fret G, 12th fret B. Walking that 12 down to the 10th fret on the B, 10th fret D, back to 12 on the B. Then I'm hitting the 9th fret on the G, and now I'm going to go for the 8th fret on the B string. I'm going to play that with my middle finger. You'll see why in a moment. Okay, and that's to get into this A7 chord. So I want to be, I want to leave that note ringing over into the next bar. So 8th fret from the previous bar. Going to 7D, 9G, 8 on the B, and then up to 10th fret on the B. That's followed by the D string 7th fret, G string 9th fret, 8th fret on the B, and back to the 9th fret on the G. And context sounds like this. You can hear it singing. And I say. And then we're going back to our open G, open D, 12th fret B, 10th fret B, low G open. 8th fret on the B, open D, and a 9 on the G string again. So that bar sounds like this. It's all right. Okay, so all of that so far will sound a little something like this. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here comes the sun, and I say, it's all right. Okay, then we got this little instrumental bit, which is weird. It's got like different time signatures and things, but we're not going to fuss about that too much. That part's going to sound like this. Okay, so we're starting out with the C chord. 
barring the fifth fret flat across uh, all four strings with a pointer finger. We're going to hit the low G and the B strings together. Then we've got eighth fret on the B string going up to the tenth fret. So it's a bit of a stretch. But you are welcome to move it up if you can't stretch that far. Next up, we've got seventh fret on the high G string being played with the open low G. Then eighth fret B string and tenth fret B string. Now repeating the first part, repeating the second part. So we got and the last little bit, barring the seventh fret, which makes it a D chord. And now I'm playing this uh, eighth fret on the B string with the seventh fret on the G string. And there I'm going to take it down, down to the seventh fret, which is already in place because I'm barring and hitting nine and seven. All right, so that whole bit. And then we can play the intro bit again. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. So that's pretty much practically almost the entire thing. Um, but of course, it's just always easier to work with tabs. So once again, should you feel so inclined, please go and check out my Patreon page. There's even some free tabs that you can grab should you be interested in that. Uh, other than that, uh, maybe if you want some lessons, I do offer some lessons online. I've got students all over the world, uh, not only on Cigar Box, but we do, uh, do some piano, do some drums, do some guitar, violin, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, thanks again for your, uh, your time and your attention. I really do appreciate you stopping by, and I will catch you next time. That bearded guitar guy signing out for now. Cheers.